This is Galicia, Spain in Monte de Gozo, the last part of the Camino de Santiago pilgrimage route. Before arriving at the Tomb of the Apostle, many pilgrims spend their last night in this hostel. In the footsteps of the Apostle James, pilgrims like David from France, Valerie from Canada, and Ida from Japan travel at least 100 miles through the different avenues that exist in Europe to reach Santiago de Compostela. It says that there are as many ways there as there are pilgrims, because the reasons that lead each one to take part in this adventure are very diverse. I chose to do the Camino because um, there was a lot of things in my life I wanted to change and it was difficult. Uh, you can change it at home. You walk, you have, you do the little same things each day. You walk, you walk, you talk with people and everything you need arrive. You just have to open, open your heart. You don't have to think here. At the beginning, I, di I didn't have any ideas about which kind of things I will get here. But um, by walking more and more, uh, you start, like this machine starts to stop. And then when it stops, you can realize what is really important for you, like inside. I'm interested in uh, sp Spanish culture and Christian culture because um, we are not uh, Christian and I don't have Christian culture knowledge enough. From the 9th century, pilgrims of the Camino de Santiago, in addition to fatigue, rain, and difficulties, also meet great new friends. And in some cases, they have a close encounter with God. Here, I started to believe in God because when you, you walk and you, you look on the floor, you look only yourself and you just have to go to look up and it's so big. I realized that, that there is a, a big meaning, a big spiritual meaning. Uh, a meaning I can't really uh, understand right now fully, but uh, which I can feel something I've really changed in my life. Kindness. Uh, so, hmm, I found the uh, Christian culture of the uh, best, uh, best is the kindness of uh, people, Christian. According to these pilgrims, it's a road that marks a turning point in their lives. Despite the fatigue, after traveling by foot hundreds of miles, they say it's worth it all. Too simply would be life-changing, but uh, efficiently simply would be uh, eyes opening, yeah, art opening. Even today, more than 20 centuries after the arrival of St. James to Spain, the Way of the Apostle is helping create new friendships and conversions across Europe and the world.